Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. The auditorium darkens. You know the play is about to begin. You sit up in expectation. Suddenly, a spotlight on the main character begins the production. Everyone's eyes are riveted on that person in the spotlight. That's what happened when John the Baptist came. His preaching created expectation for the main event. Then the light switched on in the dark world. The spotlight fell on Jesus, the Messiah. But what many didn't realize when that spotlight went on was that they were seeing God. Back in Exodus 33, God told Moses, You cannot see my face, for no man can see me and live. So he hid Moses in the cleft of a rock and covered him with his hand as his glory passed by. Even then, Moses' face shone so brightly that he had to put a veil over it. But somehow, when Jesus came, he was God, packaged in such a way that people could see, observe, and understand. But he was still God. He made that clear. Even though Jesus had said, I and my Father are one, in John 14, his disciples still didn't grasp the concept, so Jesus had to tell them, If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. When Jesus came, he turned on the light, spotlighting God. Sending Jesus was God's most powerful way of communicating who he is in terms that we can understand. He revealed God's heart of love and compassion as he healed and taught people. He was the embodiment of truth, as opposed to all the made-up rules and regulations the Jews had added on to what God had told them in the Old Testament. Jesus revealed God, defined him. John 1.18 says, No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Other translations says Jesus explained or revealed God, made him known, made him clear. The Greek word that they translate declared means to teach or reveal something fully and thoroughly, to interpret. We get the word exegesis from that Greek word. Now that's not a word that's used by the general English-speaking person, but it is used in seminary about drawing out the meaning or interpretation of a text. And that's what Jesus did for God. He explained who God is by how he lived, what he said. His stories, miracles, and teachings didn't just prove Jesus was God. It also showed us who God is. Because obviously many people had gotten the wrong idea. The Jews thought God only loved them. They were his people. The Gentiles weren't and would never be. And Samaritans? Well, God hated them. The Jews thought God wanted nothing to do with sinners and outcasts. To them, God was embodied in the rules that they followed most meticulously. And that was the only way to know him. But Jesus proved the opposite. At the beginning of his ministry, he walked through Samaria and spoke to a Samaritan woman of all people, and not even a decent one at that. One who'd had four husbands and was living in sin with someone not her husband. It was to her he made known publicly for the first time that he was the Messiah. He ate with tax collectors and other sinners. He even called one of them to be his disciple. He traveled and taught in Gentile areas, calling them his other sheep. Now, sometimes we get the wrong idea of who God is and what he's like, too. So we have to go back and look at Jesus. Think about what he would do, how he would treat people, not with anger and resentment, but with love and forgiveness. Not walking by, but getting involved. Not with fear or prejudice, but with compassion and fairness. And however Jesus would treat someone, that's how we ought to treat them, because we are his body on earth. Just as Jesus declared God while he was on earth through his speech and actions, so should we. 
not that we can read minds or do miracles of healing or walking on water, but we can show people who God is in our speech and actions as well. Think about today or yesterday, if you're listening to this first thing in the morning. What have you declared about God through your speech and actions? What would someone think God was like by watching you? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through His Word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.